but Taylor Marsha just responded to her comments about her relationship with Jake Paul, being only for, quote, fun and content. We're gonna tell you what's going on and why a bunch of fans are hella mad. I'm Jessica and you're watching The Daily Report. Hey guys, we're back and we're talking about hashtag Jana again. Boom, boom, boom. Did you think we were done? Cause oh, it, this is still happening. After the latest episode of Tana's MTV show, Tana Turns 21, where she tells the camera her relationship with Jake Paul was all quote, for fun and content, some fans were very suspicious about the timing. Mainly because based on that comment, we can now confirm that the relationship was fake. As was the wedding, right? Right? Tana is now attempting to backtrack those comments on Twitter. Yesterday she wrote, quote, I understand people's frustration with the soundbite from the show, and it's the last thing I wanna talk about right now, but obviously I just uploaded an eight minute YouTube video on how much I love Jake, and I'm not trying to look like that much of a sociopath, okay? She goes on to say that the confessionals were filmed a long time ago and how she feels that the quotes were pulled out of context for the show. She explains, quote, I'm not tripping. I know that things have moved so fast, are unconventional and confusing, but I love Jake. I truly do, in the weirdest way. And while some fans were quick to accept this explanation and how things may have evolved between the time they filmed the episode to now, one fan was quick to point out that the episode was only filmed three weeks ago. Oh, and we, oop, how do they know? At the end of the episode, Jake joins Tana to talk about the wedding. And when she asks Jake, this is 100% legal on paper, this wedding? Jake says, I don't know if we should talk about that though because we should make it seem like it is. Huh, whoa, whoop did he doop doop. This is what you don't do when there's a reality show being filmed. You don't share secrets, or maybe you do. The clothes that they were wearing at the time were the same clothes the two were wearing in Jake's vlog to people to think that we're not actually engaged, which was actually posted on July 6th. Ooh, look at them, investigations. And yes, while someone could catch feelings in three weeks, we did learn from Tiana's MTV show they had been planning the wedding for so long and it has been postponed twice. So I think it's safe to say that it could have been a fake wedding, quote, for fun and content, but whether there were actually Actual feelings involved is a totally different story. Although not many people plan their wedding before they catch feelings, but you know, Tana and Jake have never been ones to do things the conventional way. However, a lot of fans are not happy right now. Not just because the wedding might have been fake, but because over 64,000 of them paid $50 for the live stream and the quality was so bad, people in the chat were calling it hashtag Janicon. Ooh. According to one fan who watched, quote, this is legit what we paid for. Most of it has no sound and we've been watching people stand around. Occasionally, some clueless chick interviews people while mispronouncing Tana's name. That is when we can actually hear her. After trying to navigate the awful stream for hours, it got worse when the ceremony only lasted 10 minutes. And while some fans were asking for refunds, there is no guarantee that they're gonna get it. Which means hashtag Jana has banked over three million dollars on their half a million dollar wedding. Wow. How do you make a profit on a wedding? It's usually the other way around. They figured it out, Tana. You should be my financial advisor. But we want to know what you guys think. Do you believe Tana's response? Let us know in the comment section down below. As I always, thank you guys so much for subscribing to Osmond's TV Daily Report channel. It's where we live. Me and Kelsey, come say hello. We get lonely sometimes. Anyway, I'm Jessica. And I'm gonna say this wedding is fake, but reporting on it was not that bad. It's pretty fun.